hello everyone hello everyone and welcome back to our page our channel is most global tv today we have in our midst a great man of god a great teacher of the word of god his name is apostle ahome osai today we give you a difference between your job and your work it's really important for you to know the difference between your job and your work because this will help you to know how to balance your job and your spiritual life because your spiritual life is connected to your work and your purpose so please listen this message with an open mind so you will be blessed and please you can share this video and all the video in our platform so that it can be a blessing to someone and if you have any question you can ask so that we can return back to you with an answer as soon as possible by the grace of god you are blessed and may god bless you more see you in the next video shalom men are prophetic people i need to say something about the prophetic just like pastor abike was saying when he was leading prayers if you become serious about your prayer life, just like some of us have decided to be serious, and you are consistent in praying, consistent in fasting, consistent in praying, consistent in fasting, a time will come, God will begin to send the intelligence your way. That means your spiritual senses will be activated. You'll be able to see in the realm of the spirit as the Lord wills. You'll be able to hear in the realm of the spirit as the Lord wills. You'll be able to perceive in the realm of the spirit as the Lord wills. You'll be able to understand things that you were not taught as the Lord wills. You will know things that you did not learn as the Lord wills because every intercessor that becomes consistent is conscripted into the duty of watching. And everything that God wants to do must be midwifed by a watcher. And just in case you are in politics, oh, there is so much need for watching in politics because most of the people we are contending with are, have ranking with the devil. Most of the people that you are trying to achieve some stuff with have their hands in mysteries of darkness. And so you are supposed to dust your prayer mat and get ready for the watches. There is a guarantee that you have. When you sign up to become a watchman, God is under obligation to give you spiritual intelligence. The man Mordecai was in his place doing his natural work he was doing his job. Please help me tell your neighbor there's a difference between your job and your work. For instance, your job pays salary, your work pays reward. Still preaching. You are still preaching. You are still preaching. The motivation for your job is money. The motivation for your work is purpose. In the Garden of Eden, God gave Adam not a job, but work. Preach, preach. And the reason why I'm making you preach is because if you get a job with Zenith Bank, don't think that is your purpose. It's your job. I've seen several people in Lagos. They wake up 5 a.m. in the morning, hop on the bus, and they get to Victoria Island and get, get back home 11 in the night, and they do that for 27 years, do that for 34 years. <laughs> and then they go to church as a culture. And they believe they are doing something great. You, the systems of this age are helping to waste your potential. Mordecai was assigned to the gate of the king, but he knew his work. His job was a security personnel, but his work was the work of a watchman. It was because of his work that he tore his garments and wore sackcloth and ashes. Not because there was strike. Not because his salary was delayed. Oh my God. Are you with me? Okay. So the 
His salary was coming. He was still effective on his job. But he did not forget what? His work. He had earned laurels, laurels in the kingdom where he served and there were opportunities for him to have been redeployed from the gate. He insisted that his position will be where? The gate. Why? Do you still remember? Do you remember? Or you don't? I don't, I don't think you do. Because in the culture of the Israeli people, what we call our Senate today, House of Assembly, places where decisions are made that are bind, binding on the populace. What we call, do you understand that? The House of Representatives is at the gate. That's where elders gather to take decisions that are binding on people that are in the city. Are you with me? So now that we're in a situation that was not Israel, but the man maintained the culture. He was an elder in his time. So he preferred the gate because of the significance of the gate. Even though he had opportunities to have been redeployed, he remained there because it reminded him of the strategic position of the elders at the gate. I don't have time to take you to the book of Lamentations where we see an obituary of a civilization, an obituary of a city. Part of the indicators of the obituary of, his, of the city was that the elders have ceased from the gate. It means they had no house of assembly anymore. They had no senate anymore. So any man could do what he wanted to do. There were no laws that re regulated the activities of people because that government at the gate was no longer in place. That's part of what constitutes the obituary of what? Oh, you are not with me. Oh. <laughs> Can we talk deep? We can't talk deep here. Oh my God. Because you are already fainting. I'm seeing some people, they are, the blood pressure is going on. The man stayed by what? The gate. You need to be a Jew to know the meaning of that. He stayed where? Now, the point is this. It doesn't matter if you are in, in Zenith Bank, you work for, you are the special assistant to the, to the governor on religious matters, on traditional matters. That's your job. But you need to maintain your assignment at the gate. You are one of the people that should take, make legislations that will govern the city where you dwell. We have such authority as watchmen. But you cannot function as a watchman until God gives you the grace to be able to perceive. And what Mordecai perceived was the plan that the enemy had that he wanted to implement upon the Jews. I need to ask some of you. Are you here? If you had a way to bug your enemy's cell phone so that when he picks a call, you'll be hearing on the call. And then you found out that your name was discussed. That in the night, close to the suya joint, because you are, you are overtaken by suya, and you need to visit the suya joint every night. It's like a spell was cast on you. And you need to visit the suya job. And a plan has been made to waylay you by the suya spot. Even if the demon of suya has possessed you, because of that intelligence, what will you do? So if you have access, <laughs> hallelujah. If you have access to intelligence that concerns the plans of the enemy, it gives you an opportunity to plan against it. Part of the reasons why some of the things the devil plans come so part, they are shooting the arrow. They shot it. They took six months to create it because the Bible said no weapon. Form. Weapons are formed. So they checked your lifestyle. Checked the things you love. Checked that you like red wine that is 4% alcohol content. 